issues businesses face so employees can go back to work. Our George Reed Godfrey has more information. From implementing proper protocol if an employee tests positive for COVID-19 to finding pots of money to help small businesses recover financially. The House Employment, Workforce and Business Recovery Committee is working to address issues that are in the way of revitalizing the state's economy. At Wednesday's meeting, members of the House COVID-19 Employment Recovery Committee learned more about the barriers stopping South Carolina's economy from recovering. For starters, a repeated issue lawmakers and task force members have heard from businesses is lack of guidance on worst case scenarios. I had a constituent three weeks ago call me and the fear was palpable in her voice. And she was like, you know, and the trainer who works for me tested positive, but she hadn't been here in 10 days. What do I need to do? Do I shut my business? DHEC presented a plan that outlines what an employer should do if an employee they tests positive or is in contact with someone who is. Child care is another employee. obstacle. Employees need child care to return to work. 39% of the state's child care centers are still closed. Waiting for, for parents to return to work, so it is the supply and demand aspect right. of it and continues to be. Um, waiting on board uh, boards, uh, directors to discuss or vote on reopening. Um, and uh, waiting on COVID case numbers to decline. One of the biggest challenges for businesses is bouncing back financially. Committee members are hoping to find ways to give businesses that have closed and can't reopen because of financial hardships a boost. 41% of minority businesses may have closed in April, according to the Wall Street Journal. Many of those businesses were not able for a myriad of reasons to access uh, government assistance. The plan is for the committee to come up with a list of recommendations to present to the Speaker of the House, Jay Lucas, for the full body to review the proposals. In Columbia, Georgia Re Godfrey, 7 News. The Department of Social Services has been working to provide funding to child care centers to have a thorough cleaning to help with reopening and providing child care vouchers to essential workers. Lawmakers will be back at the State House in September.